guys, welcome back. I'm Julie, and I'm here to do my reaction video for episode seven. I think it's episode seven of season four of the hundred. Uh, what happened last time? Raven, she's kind of pushing herself to the minute, pushing her brain to the min to the limit, and I don't think it's doing any good because she's just getting herself a lot more tired and like. I'm guessing that nothing good is gonna come out of what happened on the previous episode with Raven. Also, Raven and Luna, I mean, I'm gonna ship them. What is the ship name? If, you know, I don't care if they're canon or non-canon, non well, what will the ship name will be between those two? I know that they use mechanic for... Uh, for Raven. So like mechanic night blood? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, so uh, I'm excited for this episode. Uh, I, I want to see Octavia. I just don't want to see Octavia with that alien guy. I just think he's bad news uh, so far. Uh, but we'll see. I guess that they will develop a little bit more his character because they let Octavia go and he, I'm guessing, is going to go after her. You know, because now he's gonna feel like he owns her something or some shit. I don't know. I am not here for that, but whatever. I mean, if that happens, I don't know. I just hope that they make uh, something else out of the character. Uh, Clarky, what is Clark doing? Oh, she's on her way to the lab or to the island. I don't know. Bellamy, what happened with Bellamy? Oh, he's still upset about Octavia not forgiving him. Which is understandable, you know, that's his sister. The only family he has left. But yeah, that's about it. Jasper's still getting on my nerves. Uh, I understand that he has a mental illness, but not because he has a mental illness. I have to like him. I just don't like him. That's it. Uh, but whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna watch episode four. 7 of season 4. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to see more reaction videos, and without further ado, let's just begin. It has been two days since Octavia... Right? It's been like less than a week since Octavia fell. <laughs> Look at her. Or in the back of her horse. She knows she's being followed by this idiot. You spared my life. I owe you. What did I just say? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's raining acid? Oh shit. Oh shit, this is so bad. How many people are not gonna have a place to go? Oh my god, this is going to be hell. Oh, come on, dudes. Is that Monty? Who's that? Keep going, girl. Oh my god. Who is that? Why is she scared? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, they're gonna help him. So I thought that not everyone was going to be able to get inside of Arcadia. Yeah, she's smart. She's not a little kid, Bellamy, you know that. Not just because you want forgiveness, you have to do crazy things. She will come back to you, dude. She will come around, I'm sure. Have to be patient. There is still on the horse? I thought that by now they were already on a shelter or something. This is really like a, like that acid fog 
the, they had on season one that is kind of similar to the one on the Hunger Games. Oh, how convenient. They both are half naked. <laughs> I love Sassy Octavia. Oh, that is so sweet. Not for you, Jackson. But for the reunion. Oh. Yeah. She had an hallucination. Get out, Jackson. Where's Ron? He's on the field with the others. I just needed to see my mom. Oh, Clarky. We can inject ourselves with her bone marrow. How do we become night bloods? Will it work? I think so. Yeah, because that kind of worked back on the mountain, right? Because the only way to know if it works is to test it. Oh. Uh, exposing someone to radiation. Who's going to get exposed to radiation? Do that here? And Maury is hearing everything. Bellamy, his desire to save his sister, his. Come on, Bellamy. Come on, Bellamy. You think that you're gonna make it? Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? Bellamy's gonna be, dude, I'm fine. How is he gonna come back? He just needs to wait there. Whoa. That entire thing is part of the island? Oh, look at Murphy. Whoa, it's so weird seeing Clark in a modern day setup. That's so weird. He cooks. How did he learn? Oh, he has a book. Yeah, no, that's not it. Yeah, he is. So he's good at cooking. What? I'm gonna go get really You look really clean. Thanks. She looks a lot cleaner than she looked back in season three. What? Raven? I'm the outsider, John the Free Trader. Oh, come on. I don't think they even thought about you. I think centric of her. Well, paranoid. She's used to this, so. Look at that shit! Are you imagining fucking Lexa right there? <laughs> Dude, me too. <gasps> me too, bitch, me too! Anyways. <laughs> Whoa, it's so weird seeing Clark in such a normal set. Look at that bitch. Why are your hands dirty, you bitch? Why did you touch the bed with your dirty... Ooh Wait. I remember an interview on Comic-Con where it said that she was gonna take a shower and Eliza said she didn't want to be naked and she was kind of naked there look at that princess oh baby you deserve to be relaxed right now it's not gonna last long I bet I told you She's not even a minute. <laughs> if something jumps at me, bitches, swear to God. Oh, it's 
Just the win. It's never just the win on this show. Motherfucker. Murphy. Uh-oh. And Mari, you're being paranoid right now. How do you know it's going to be you? Ah! You motherfucker! You scare me! Who is this bitch? Oh, Jesus Christ! No, you're not gonna kill the Mori! What the fuck is this one? Yeah, shoot him! What? No, I say shoot him. What happened with the Mori and that dude? Did that dude like touch her or some shit? Oh no. Tell me. You're stuck. Great. Well, right now there's nothing you can do, Bellamy. It wasn't your fault. Don't tell me you've never killed for revenge. Yeah, come on. Well then, I guess you're better than me. You guys never kill for revenge? The first time couldn't make him suffer. Wait. Cut him for every time he cut me. No, she hasn't. Oh, but well, that's He's true. Him bake the way I baked. Lord. What do you say, Maury? I'm not gonna let him hurt you again. He will kill us all. You know why you have to listen to Maury right now? Let that happen, Clark. Yeah. Because today, I am the commander of death. Oh, so we're stealing shit now. Okay, Maury. You do you, girl. Wait, what? You'll kill him. That's the idea. Yeah, Clark. Come on, Clark. What if his death could save us all? Oh! They're gonna use him! Bitch. Bitch. Clark is always one step ahead. That's why she's the leader. <laughs> TV is not like, I am not doing friends I today. Run. I go home, I'll see their faces everywhere. In everything. Boy, do you really think she wants to share something? Shut up! Octavia. Octavia. What, what, Octavia! Octavia, why is she? What did she want to do that? Aww. Oh shit. What is this? Don't tell me you're gonna kiss him. Oh god. Oh. He doesn't want to do it, right? Okay, this is painful. Wood. <laughs> ah! Okay. Whatever, I mean... The guy kind of seemed cute in that scene. I don't know. <gasps> He's just shaking. You can also ask someone to volunteer. Right? Come on, Abby, you're a doctor. Yeah, you didn't fail. I actually agree with Kane.
Yeah, exactly. That is true, plus Octibi is an adult now. He, like, he has to, Bellamy has to understand that Octavia is no longer the little sister he had to take care of. It's not his responsibility anymore. Plus, Octavia is going through some shit right now. She needs time. She will come around and see that Bellamy, what Bellamy did, even though it did cause a lot of mayhem and cause it uh, Lincoln's death, it wasn't something that he wanted to happen. He wasn't expecting that result. But yeah, that was a nice scene with Bellamy. Oh, God. He looks like Finn, right? Kinda. I'm so sorry for Octavia too. She's just a shadow of the person she used to be. Aw, baby. You still need that to defend yourself though. Not to kill, but you know. So now she's gonna follow him. Right? Octavia needs to find herself again. She still can be a badass. But she needs to find peace. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Bellamy. It wasn't your fault. You got a hug? Who cut his hair? It looks awful. Don't worry. It looks really weird. Yeah. It's true, Bellamy. She's not your little sister. Well, she's always gonna be your little sister, but Ron is so hot, though. Oh, poor dude, though. <laughs> What? It wasn't him, bitch! <laughs> hey, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah, bitch. Emory's just giving them the little push they needed. Where is Ron going to be? Okay guys, that was the end of episode 7 of season 4 of The 100. This was a little a, a, a little bit a slower episode, but it did like build a lot of things for future episodes. I, I'm, I'm not saying it was a bad episode, it was, I'm saying that it was just a slow one, you know? Uh, in one hand, Bellamy's is still like desperate to find uh, that uh, forgiveness that he needs from his sister. I think he just he feels like Octavia is that represents all those mistakes that he has made, and in order for him to start forgiving himself for what happened. He needs to find Octavia's forgiveness first. And since Octavia is on his own journey, uh, she doesn't want to forgive him. She doesn't feel like she needs to forgive him. He, she said on the previous episode that, hey, you be glad that you're not dead because I want to kill you for what happened. So um, it was kind of nice to see that side again. Of, of Bellamy, a side that we haven't seen uh, uh, witness since, since, I think since the first season, we have always known how much 
Bellamy loves Octavia, how much he protects her, how much he always goes the extra mile for her, but uh, you do have to remember that Bellamy uh, was raised to protect his little sister. It was not, uh, it was, uh, how, how do you say it, like, it was pro prohibit uh, on the art to have more than one child, and Octavia was that second child. He, since an early age, have had that responsibility on, on him, and he has grown up to have that responsibility on him, that it's so hard for him to just move past that, to forget that he doesn't need to prove to anyone that he can take care of his sister, you know? It's so embed on him, it's so, such a part or of him that he just can't let it go, you know, because if it was a normal brother-sister relationship, then you will have, okay, eventually she's gonna forgive me, eventually we're gonna move on, and, you know, but for him, it has been such a hard time, uh, for him to, to, to let go of that. I don't think he's even letting go right now of that. I think he's just, uh, a little bit like saying, okay, well, she doesn't want me there and I can't do anything about it, you know? But it was nice to be reminded how much of a responsibility Bellamy has had since he was a little boy with Octavia, so you understand why it's so important for him to have that forgiveness, to know that his sister is okay, because on previous season, even though Octavia does her, her own things, they were always in good terms and they were always talking. Right now, he feels if Octavia dies, it dies his opportunity to, to reach that forgiveness, and I don't think he knows how to go beyond that. He just doesn't know how is he, that he's going to go beyond uh, 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 not having his sister and not ha being on good terms with her, with his sister, which is really amazing, and it, it gives the character a lot more depth, a little bit more depth, and and it also gives uh, uh, the character a point for people like me who I normally don't care about Bellamy, and I. I have been really bad with Bellamy in the past, but it gives you something to look back, you know, to the previous seasons where I actually did like Bellamy, you know, and to remember things that this character has gone through. Don't forget, like, not forgetting, forgetting what he did with the death of Lincoln, how his involvement kind of uh, put Lincoln's death, uh, uh, how he was involved in that, and how he was involved in the killing of the 300 uh, uh, warriors that were sent there to watch over them. So, it was a nice thing to do, you know. I, I, I feel like they are not forcing us to forgive Bellamy just because he's Bellamy. He, they are making us, like, see his entire arc, you know, in a lot more clarity than it has in the past when the only things we saw was like, okay, Bellamy can lash out and he doesn't have any repercussions. The repercussions are finally here when we see the character breaking and feeling like he's not enough for anything. Like feeling every single death that is happening in this point, his responsibility because he let a lot of other people die. That's really interesting. That is really interesting uh, of him uh, for a character, you know, to have that. You can see he didn't, he was going to go out on the rain and go save two people when he knew that he might die, you know, and he, when those two people died, he felt like he was the one who killed them. And that is what I wanted from Bellamy, to be honest. I wanted for him to own up to his responsibilities and to his decisions, and yes, he's doing it. Like, I have said many times that I, when I don't like a character, uh, normally it has a, a reason why, and I always 
believe that if the character is gonna redeem themselves I don't want this silly thing that they were doing back in season 3 where he was like oh I'm so sorry and like everybody just fall into like oh, okay it's Bellamy like I didn't want that I actually wanted him to see the repercussions of his choices and we have that so I'm kinda good I think I'm making pieces with the character and I like that I like that a lot uh, because it is a lot more easy to watch a show where you like and, and understand all the characters uh, uh, rather than just watching shitty characters do shitty things like he was doing back in season 3. He was like f by far one of, like not my favorite, but one of my favorites back in season 2. Season 1, was kinda, he was kind of a douchey kind of thing but I mean he had motives and he had things and all that season three I hated Bellamy season three but season four now he's making progress and I like that I I, I think I um I, I, and I honestly I don't feel what I am saying force I am not doing it because I say oh okay I don't want more dislikes go ahead dislike all the all the, all the that you want on this video because I still don't ship Blark. So yeah, this is like the video, I don't care. But individually, Bellamy, we're going on a right track, baby. We're going on a right. I hope that they keep moving him forward this. I'm hoping that with him realizing that that um he can save someone who doesn't want to be safe. He doesn't go back to his previous self and go back and be like a whiny kid and then start doing all things wrong. I hope that he keeps moving forward. I hope that when the time comes and he faces Octavia again, he's not gonna go and force Octavia to talk to him, but rather say, I'm still here and if you wanna talk, whenever you wanna talk, I'm gonna be here because we're still brother and sister and uh, I still love you. I think that that will happen and I think it will be a nice reunion for the Blake uh, siblings and yeah that's with that. Then Octavia like I said is, is on her own journey and everything and do I like the fact that Octavia has found something with Eli or Ilian, whatever his name is I don't know, I don't know the character that well, but um, I just don't want for everyone to just find love after everything that happened. I don't like cheesy things, so it, that's just me. Do I don't, do I hate the character? No, not really. I don't really understand the character, Ilian. Uh, I hope that they develop him a lot more. Uh, maybe a little bit more like outside of Tavia. Although in this episode, uh, the fact that he was open up and the fact that we see that, that all that he did before, it was just him driven by revenge. Uh, and now that he's a lot more calm, he can get to his sense and like uh, we can see the real alien. You know, I hope that he's cool and badass and all that. Uh, and Octavia finds the peace that she needs. Uh, because it's not as simple as she's gonna not gonna be a badass. I hope that she's still a badass, you know, and kicks ass and all that. Uh, but she needs to find peace. And if Ilian is gonna bring her that peace, then I mean, by all means, get them together. Um, what else? Oh, Amori, bitch, she is a really good liar, right? Like really good liar and I like the fact it's just that Amori it kind of she kind of freaked out uh, and she kind of she's someone who has learned to do this to steal to manipulate this is not the first time she does something like this and when she was about to kill the dude she kind of put that idea on Clark for the dude to be the one who they were gonna put on on the radiation thing it was kind of nice though, it was kind of nice, it was a nice move uh, and I like when they portray the the uh, the grounders as more than just savages and like intelligent people 
I like that. And Amori is really smart. And I, I, I don't know if how you guys feel about Amori like lying and getting that dude <laughs> inside of the capsule for them to experiment on him. Uh, I don't know. Let me know that on the comment section down below. What else happened? Uh, Clark just being Clark. She took a shower. She lay down for two seconds, and then all shit started happening. Um, what is her name? Abby. She was also like uh, having an inner battle with herself. Uh, but she's a scientist, so she. I don't know how why she was so. I mean, it still is, you know. But if she's, if she's, like, what it amazed me is that she is using Luna as a lab rat and treating her as nothing but a source of night blood. But she still has trouble with using that on other people. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Um, what else? What else happened? Oh, one thing: Raven and Luna were they like? Oh, Raven was. Like, sleeping, right? They say that. But in my mind, they were fucking somewhere. I'm just saying. Um, what else happened? Oh, the black rain and all that shit. It's kind of back like season one. So I wasn't like too eager to watch that. It served a, a purpose, you know, for everyone. For Octavia, for Bellamy, for... What is his name? Kane. It's never a, a purpose, I think, on the episode. Um, but yeah, I hope that with the next few episodes they develop a little bit more and they start going a little bit faster because I get bored. <laughs> Plus, they only have 13 episodes, so we're halfway through this season, so I want to know more a lot faster. Also, The Hunter was renewed for season 5. How that happened, I don't know. And I'm saying this in like the nicest way because I don't I, I don't understand why the CW renewed the show. I know that this the the hundred is one of the shows that not being from the Arrow burst and all that, it does well in ratings, but still they have like 0 0.3 on the ratings and less than a million people watching. And you see the charts, like, all the life views are going down, 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 down. They keep going down. Uh, so, I don't know. But, I mean, kudos to all the actors who got a renew. To all the actors who are actually going to make it to season 5. I'm happy that they, they actually get a season 5 and to see more of them. But, yeah. That was that that's about it. That's about it with my reaction and review for this episode. But let me know on the comment section down below. Yes. Down below. Uh what are your thoughts? Uh what do you think about Bellamy? What do you think about Octavia? Do you ship Octavia with Ilian? If you do, do we have a ship name for them? Do we also have a ship name for Raven and and Raven? And Luna, do we have? I know that people do the mechanic thing with uh, Raven. Like, for example, Clark and, and Raven are Prince's mechanic. And Raven and Abby, yes, people ship them. They are doctor mechanic. So, what will the doctor, what about the night blood, like Luna and and Raven will be mechanic, mechanic, night blood. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thumbs up for this video. Uh, for uh, you know what? For what you need to give this video a big thumbs up. For me, getting to understand Bellamy in this episode. In this episode, I stand by everything that I said in the past. I'm not taking that back. But I'm saying that I see the, the, the progress the character is making in this fourth season. So let me know that. Thumbs up uh, for that. Also, for what else? I don't know. For everyone, for Mori, because she was really smart. I don't know. Anyways, so all the links to my social media places are on the description below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Tumblr. 
I am everywhere. So let me, like, follow me there. I will follow back if you guys follow me. Uh, and yeah, subscribe, share the video with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The 100. Mwah. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.